Hi, I am Dr. Indu, Consultant Critical Care Lutz Hospital Arnakulam. I am also an ACLS and PALS instructor, Lutz Academy for Clinical Training. Hi, I am Dr. Fai CP, Resident Emergency Medicine and ACLS instructor, Lutz Academy of Clinical Training. In this health talk, we are going to talk about CPR, that means cardiopulmonary resuscitation. CPR is a technique that combines chest compression in conjunction with rescue breathing and can save lives if performed correctly. We use CPR when somebody has collapsed and not breathed because CPR can keep patient apparently alive till emergency services appear. CPR involves pressing down firmly and releasing in center of the chest to pump blood from the heart to the circulatory system and back to the heart. To learn CPR, we need to see some of the steps demonstrated in this video. Basic life support starts with assessing for scene safety followed by the CAB sequence, compression, airway and breathing. Suppose you see a person collapsing in front of you, what are you going to do? First, assess the scene for safety. Look around for chemical spills, electrical wires, gas fumes or anything dangerous. Because in these situations, you cannot help anyone. You could be a victim too. After ensuring scene safety, check the patient for response. Tap or shake the victim on the shoulder. Are you okay? Shout for help. Check for pulse and breathing simultaneously. For locating the pulse, palpate the trachea in the midline of neck and slide fingers into the groove between the trachea and muscles where you can palpate the pulse. At the same time, look for breathing. If there is no pulse or breathing, activate the cord, ask to get an EAD and start compressions. Now, how to start chest compressions? Place the heel of one hand in the center of chest in the lower half of the sternum. Place the heel of other hand on the top of the first. Interlock your fingers. Lean over the chest with your arms straight down. Do not flex your elbow. Now push hard and fast at the rate of 100 to 120 per minute at a depth of at least 5 cm allowing adequate chest recoil with minimal interruptions. Next step is to open the airway. To open the airway, tilt the head back with one hand on forehead and lift the chin with two fingers of the other hand. It is called the head tilt chin lift maneuver. To give a breath, there are two methods, either by mouth to mouth breathing or mouth to mask method. For mouth to mouth breathing, use the head tilt chin lift maneuver. Apply the face shield. Now place the hand on the forehead. Pinch the nose. Completely cover the patient's mouth with yours and blow in a breath. Give a breath for one second. Look for visible chest rise. In mouth to mask method, we can use a pocket mask with one way valve. This one way valve diverts the victim's exhaled hair away from the rescuer. Position yourself at the victim's side. Place the pocket mask on the victim's face using the bridge of the nose as a guide for correct position. Seal the pocket mask against the face. Using your hand that is closer to the top of the victim's head, place the index finger and thumb along the edge of the mask. Place the thumb of your other hand along the edge of the mask. Place the remaining fingers of your second hand along the bony margin of the jaw and lift the jaw. Perform a head tilt, chin lift to open the airway. Deliver each breath over one second, enough to make the victim's chest rise. Now, let us learn about AED, Automated External Defibrillator. It analyzes the rhythm and delivers shock if it's a shockable rhythm. Follow the steps as AED prompts. Turn on AED and follow the Adult patient. If the patient is a child, press the child button. Remove clothing from the patient's chest. Remove packet and apply pads onto patient's bare skin. Press pads firmly on skin.
press pads firmly on skin. Do not touch the patient analyzing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient analyzing heart rhythm. Shock advised. Do not touch the patient. Everyone clear. Press the flashing shock button. Shock delivered. Begin CPR. After shock delivery, immediately resume compressions. After about 5 seconds or 10, AED will prompt and repeat the steps again. If AED advises no shock, continue compressions. In this healthcare video, we have shown you the simple steps of CPR you can do to help someone who has collapsed or not breathing. Prompt CPR is one of the most important elements in the chain of survival. It helped to save a life. There was a time when people didn't know about CPR, but now we, we do. do. Thank, Thank you. you.